In the vast cosmic darkness, there exists a place where space and time break down completely, where the laws of physics crumble and reality itself bends beyond recognition. We call this monster a black hole. But what if everything you know, everything you see, the entire observable universe around you is actually trapped inside one of these cosmic prisons? Recent discoveries from the James Webb Space Telescope have shaken astronomy to its core, revealing patterns that shouldn't exist if our universe were truly random. Prepare yourselves for a journey that will challenge everything you thought you knew about reality. We begin. Imagine falling through a doorway that seals shut behind you forever. This is the reality of a black hole's event horizon. A boundary in space where escape becomes impossible. Where even light itself becomes trapped in an eternal dance toward destruction. The event horizon marks the point of no return. A spherical shell of doom surrounding the most extreme objects in our universe. But here's what makes your mind real. The size of this cosmic prison depends entirely on how much matter feeds it. Double the mass and you double the diameter. Ten times, the mass creates a black hole ten times larger. This isn't just theoretical mathematics. It's a linear relationship that holds true throughout the cosmos. From stellar mass black holes to the supermassive monsters lurking at galactic centers. Now comes the truly mind-bending calculation. When astrophysicists take the total mass of our observable universe and ask a simple question, how large would a black hole containing this much matter be? The answer stops them cold. The event horizon would stretch across roughly 93 billion light year, matching almost perfectly with the size of our cosmic horizon, the farthest distance from which light has had time to reach us since the universe began. This isn't just a curious coincidence. The average density of matter within our cosmic horizon matches exactly what you'd expect to find inside a black hole of this enormous size. It's as if someone took our entire universe and compressed it to the precise density required for gravitational collapse. Yet somehow we exist comfortably within this cosmic prison without even knowing it. The mathematics become even more intriguing when you consider what Einstein's general relativity predicts happens inside a black hole. Rather than ending in destruction, the equations suggest that a completely new space seam opens up on the other side of collapse. If you could somehow survive the journey through a black hole, you would witness the entire future history of the universe you left behind unfolding in fast forward. While ahead of you, an entirely new cosmos begins to expand and evolve. This raises the most profound question in modern cosmology. Could we be living in that new universe that opened up? Are we the product of some ancient cosmic collapse that occurred in a parent universe we can never observe or contact? Our universe shows remarkable signs of having specific initial conditions, precise values for fundamental constants, a particular geometry, and now evidence suggesting it might even have inherited angular momentum from its parent. The implications stretch far beyond academic curiosity. If our universe truly exists within a black hole, then every black hole in our cosmos could harbor its own baby universe, completely isolated from us by the one-way nature of the event horizon. Entire civilizations, countless worlds, infinite possibilities could exist beyond those dark boundaries forever hidden from our observation, but nevertheless real and thriving in their own pocket dimensions of reality. The story of how we discovered our cosmic prison begins with a brilliant physicist named Roger Penrose and his mathematical proof that seemed to seal our fate. In 1965, Penrose demonstrated that under very general conditions, gravitational collapse must inevitably lead to a singularity a point where matter crushes itself into infinite density, and the laws of physics simply give up and walk away. This singularity theorem became the foundation for our understanding of black holes extended later by Stephen Hawking and others to show that these mathematical monsters are not just possible but unavoidable in our universe. For decades, scientists accepted that anything falling into a black hole would be compressed beyond recognition, crushed into a point of zero volume where time ends and space loses all meaning. But Penrose's theorem relied on classical physics, 
the familiar world of everyday objects and predictable forces. When quantum mechanics enters the picture, everything changes. At the subatomic level, particles refuse to follow classical rules, exhibiting behaviors that seem impossible in our everyday experience. The quantum world operates on fundamentally different principles, including something called the exclusion principle. This principle states that no two identical particles can occupy the same quantum state. Think of it as nature's ultimate traffic law. Particles with the same properties simply cannot squeeze into the same space, no matter how much pressure you apply. As matter collapses toward a black hole center, this quantum traffic jam becomes critically important. Recent calculations by researchers at the University of Portsmouth reveal something extraordinary. When quantum effects are properly included in the mathematics of gravitational collapse, the inevitable singularity disappears. Instead of crushing matter into nothingness, the collapse reaches a maximum density and then bounces back like a cosmic rubber ball hitting an invisible wall and rebounding with tremendous force. This bounce doesn't require exotic physics or mysterious new particles. It emerges naturally from combining Einstein's general relativity with basic quantum mechanics, two theories we already know and trust. The mathematics show that as collapsing matter approaches the potential singularity, quantum pressure builds up until it overcomes gravity itself, forcing the collapse to reverse direction. What emerges from this cosmic rebound is remarkable. A new expanding universe with properties that closely match our own observable cosmos. The bounce naturally produces two phases of accelerated expansion that mirrored both cosmic inflation in the early universe and the mysterious dark energy driving current acceleration. No hypothetical fields or speculative physics required, just the inevitable consequence of quantum mechanics preventing infinite compression. This means our Big Bang might not have been the beginning of everything, but rather the moment of maximum compression followed by explosive expansion in a cosmic cycle that could repeat endlessly. We exist not at the start of time, but potentially in the middle of an eternal dance between collapse and expansion, between ending and beginning. The universe that collapsed to create our cosmos left its fingerprints everywhere in the precise values of physical constants in the geometry of space itself and possibly in the very direction that galaxies spin throughout the observable universe. Deep in the heart of Kansas State University, computer scientist Lee Shamir was about to make a discovery that would shake the foundations of cosmology. Using images from the James Webb Space Telescope's Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey, he was examining something that should have been utterly random. The direction that spiral galaxies rotate as seen from Earth. In a truly random universe, you would expect roughly half of all galaxies to spin clockwise and half to spin counterclockwise, like flipping coins across cosmic distances. The slight variations you might see would be nothing more than statistical noise, meaningless fluctuations that average out over large samples. But when Shamir analyzed 263 galaxies from the deep universe, he found something that shouldn't exist. 60% of the galaxies rotated clockwise. Only 40% spun counterclockwise. The probability of this happening by pure chance was less than 7 hundredths of 1%. Astronomically unlikely in a universe governed by randomness. Something was creating a preferred direction of rotation on the largest scales imaginable, violating our most basic assumptions about cosmic symmetry. This discovery wasn't entirely unexpected. Previous observations using ground-based telescopes had hinted at similar asymmetries, but the James Webb Space Telescope's unprecedented ability to peer into the deep universe revealed the pattern with startling clarity. Even more intriguingly, the asymmetry appeared to grow stronger when looking at more distant galaxies, objects we see as they existed billions of years ago when the universe was young. The pattern showed another curious feature, the asymmetry peaked near the galactic poles, the directions perpendicular to our Milky Way's disk. This suggested that whatever was causing the preferred rotation had a specific relationship to our own galaxy's orientation in space, as if there existed some cosmic axis running through the universe that influenced how galaxies form and evolve. 
Shane Muir used an automated computer program called Ganalyzer to classify each galaxy's rotation direction, eliminating human bias from the analysis. The program converts galaxy images into radial intensity plots, detecting how spiral arms curve to determine rotation direction. This objective reproducible method revealed the cosmic asymmetry with mathematical precision that anyone could verify. The implications were staggering. If galaxies truly preferred one rotation direction over another, it meant the universe was not isotropic. It didn't look the same in all directions. This violated the cosmological principle. One of the fundamental assumptions underlying our understanding of cosmic evolution. The universe had to have some kind of built-in asymmetry, some preferred axis or direction that influenced the formation and rotation of galaxies across billions of light years. But what could create such a massive scale preference? In our everyday experience, objects rotate because some force set them spinning. We see this in everything from ice skaters pulling in their arms to gas clouds collapsing under gravity. The conservation of angular momentum ensures that any initial rotation gets amplified as objects shrink. But it doesn't explain why the universe itself might have a preferred spin direction. The answer might lie in the most extreme objects known to physics. Black holes that rotate with incredible speed and possess the power to influence space and time itself across vast distances. Every black hole in the universe spins. This isn't speculation or theory. It's an observational fact carved into the fabric of Spisim itself. When massive stars collapse to form black holes, they inherit the rotation of their parent stars and amplify it to incredible extremes. The conservation of angular momentum transforms a slowly rotating stellar giant into a cosmic hurricane of warped Spisim spinning so fast it drags space and time around with it. But here's where the story becomes truly mind-bending. According to black hole physics, only two pieces of information can pass through the event horizon from the outside universe. Total mass and angular momentum. Everything else, chemical composition, temperature, magnetic fields, even the complex history of how the matter formed gets erased. The black hole becomes a simple object defined entirely by how much it weighs and how fast it spins. If our universe truly exists inside a black hole, then it must have inherited the angular momentum of whatever collapsed to create it. This inherited spin would manifest as a cosmic axis, a preferred direction woven into the very fabric of Spacem that influences how matter moves in galaxies formed throughout our observable cosmos. Think of it like cosmic DNA. Just as living organisms inherit traits from their parents, our universe would carry the rotational signature of its parent black hole. This inheritance wouldn't be visible in everyday phenomena. The effect would be far too subtle to notice in local physics. But across cosmic distances and billions of years of evolution, this inherited spin could accumulate into the galaxy rotation asymmetry that James Webb detected. Theoretical physicist Nikon Poplowski of the University of New Haven has championed this idea for years. In his model, when matter falls into a black hole, it doesn't get crushed into a singularity. Instead, quantum effects prevent infinite compression, causing the matter to bounce and expand into a new universe on the other side of the event horizon. This new cosmos appears isolated from its parent, connected only through the warped geometry of Spisim itself. The parent universe would appear to us as a white hole, the theoretical opposite of a black hole that cannot be entered from outside and instead ejects matter and energy. But we could never observe this white hole because it would exist beyond our cosmic horizon in regions of Spacem that light from our universe can never reach. This creates a stunning picture of cosmic evolution. Every black hole in our universe could be the birthplace of a new cosmos, spawning baby universes that inherit the angular momentum and basic properties of their parents. These universes would be completely isolated from us, developing their own galaxies, stars, planets, and potentially life, all while remaining forever hidden behind the one-way barrier of the event horizon. The asymmetry in galaxy rotation becomes a fossil record of our cosmic birth, 
preserved across 13.8 billion years of universal evolution. It's the signature of our parent black hole written in the very spin of galaxies across the observable universe. Waiting billions of years for creatures like us to develop telescopes powerful enough to read this ancient cosmic message. When the James Webb Space Telescope opened its golden eyes to the universe in 2022, it wasn't just another advance in astronomical technology. It was a complete revolution in how we observe cosmic history. This $10 billion marvel can peer deeper into space and further back in time than any instrument humanity has ever built revealing the universe as it existed when it was young, wild, and dramatically different from today. The telescope's unprecedented infrared vision allows it to see through cosmic dust and detect the light from the very first galaxies that formed after the Big Bang. But James Webb's true power lies in its ability to capture fine details across vast cosmic distances, revealing the intricate structure and motion of galaxies that existed billions of years ago with clarity that would have been impossible just decades earlier. This revolutionary capability enabled Leroy Shamir's discovery of the galaxy rotation asymmetry, 